Hi guys, this is The Ride with Roland and this year is the BMW C650 GT Maxi Scooter. But the big question is, is this the ultimate motorcycle for commuting? So how am I going to do that? I'm going to judge the motorcycle on 10 points and I give you my number, what I think is worth from 0 to 10. And in the end of this video I will also show you the pros and cons of this machine. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Ok, let's first throw some specs in. This model comes from 2013 and is a 2 cylinder 650cc 4 stroke liquid cooled engine with 4 valves each cylinder. It has about 60 horsepower and yes that's not bad for a scooter and she weighs around 249 kilo dry. So yeah, that's a big girl. It comes with a 16 liter tank and it will ride about 22 kilometers on 1 liter gasoline or around 53 miles per gallon. The top speed is around 180 km an hour and for all you Americans out there that's 109 miles per hour and that's also quite impressive for a scooter. The wheels are 15 inch aluminum cast wheels with in front two 217mm rotor disc and in the back one of course. It comes filled completely with electronics like ABS, heated grips and yes even a heated seat what is really nice in cold days. A tire pressure monitor, a electronically adjusted windshield, a board computer, integrated parking brake and so on and so on. But numbers are just numbers so let's put this classy ride to the test. So to judge if this bike is really the best for commuting, we're going to run it through some points. And point number one is the engine. By the way, a beautiful day today, it's very warm. So the engine is a 650cc twin cylinder. This is by the way my judgment, it could be different by someone else. But I think this engine runs uh, pretty smooth for a scooter, it has this characteristic scooter sound feel to it. Well the engine has a lot of power also. You can easily uh, catch up with all the traffic. I think uh, I run at 180 km an hour once. So yeah that's a lot of speed also. So yeah what can I say about the engine? I like it. I, I give it um, an 8. Let's give it an 8. Yes. It's not like a leader bike. But for a scooter it's pretty fast. Point number two is the comfort of the bike. Well. I don't think a bike can get any more comfortable uh, than this one. You got this heated grips, you got the heated seat, you got very good wind protection, you got this, this great white seat. Uh, so your, your sitting position is also very comfortable. I think a coffee machine is missing on the bike, but for the rest it's, uh, it's all there. I was looking for a quiet spot, but it's actually very busy here. Every time I have to stop because all bicycles come. This is Holland, land of the bicycles. Back to comfort. Yeah, it's not gonna get any better. Let's give it a 9. 9 for comfort. Point number 3 is the weight. Well, um, I have to look it up, but I thought this bike was more than 250 kilograms. <laughs> what is, of course, very heavy for a scooter, but you don't notice it at all. The scooter has, like also with the GS, very low center of gravity and it makes it feel very, very light. The balance of this thing is actually so perfect that you can almost stand still for a stop sign without putting your feet on the ground. It just wants to stay straight up and uh, that's actually perfect. So it is a heavy one, but you just don't notice it. I must give it a number for the weight. Well, uh, because it's heavy, but probably that will give you some advantages on the highway, which I will ride later on. But uh, let's say, uh, let's give it a six. It could be lighter. Yeah, sorry, number four seems to be lost, but I will combine it with another point. So don't worry, and let's hop to number five. Point number five, fuel economy. So, we all seen the gas prices, and before you complain, America or whatever country, here in the Netherlands we pay 2 euro 50 for 1 liter gasoline now and it's still rising. So with these prices uh, you want a cheap bike. Well this one it runs about 22 kilometers on 1 liter gasoline and in mileage uh, well I, I will put it here somewhere because I have to calculate it at home. Uh, man I don't know I don't live in America this is the Netherlands as you can see. So I have to give this a number 9 definitely it's very good. For a scooter that fast, pretty good. Point number six, the handling. Well, the handling on this bike is just superb. It's it's fantastic. It is, I, yeah. I have many bikes, I own like five bikes. Um, I think I can corner this one the heart of all the bikes I have. 
This this thing is un incredible when it comes to corners, when turning, when handling. It's it's amazing. This is really you you can easily go between traffic. No problems there. So for commuting, this is actually perfect. Uh, she feels lightweight. She she steers very easy, very easy into the corners. I I feel safe in the corners. It's not like that. I feel like oh oh I'm gonna lose the bike now. Even in rain, I rode it in the corners, and it was just perfect, perfect. So yeah, the handling. I think this is this is actually the best thing of this scooter. The handling. I give a nine. Point number seven, the brakes. Well, the brakes are good. This is a scooter, so you have a front brake and uh, the, uh, where normally the clutch is. There is your uh, rear brake. And, well, it's got ABS and all on it. And if you use them combined, I think that's what you must do on a scooter. It's actually like, what? And you <laughs> fly over the windscreen. So, I cannot say anything bad about the brakes. Uh, the brakes are good. Yeah, it, it's a BMW. Of course, you expect it. Uh, all the BMWs I own so far have fantastic brakes. And this one is no exception also. I hope you guys can hear me by the way, because there is a lot of wind. Which is going to be a problem for some shots where I need to take it next to the motorcycle and I don't have an external mic or something. Uh, I'm a small channel, what can I say? I'm not a big channel, I don't have all this uh, unlimited money. <laughs> I have to do it a bit like this. Anyway, brakes, good. Point number eight, storage. One of the reasons you want a bike like this is that you can bring uh, groceries also with it. It's like a, a replacement of a car. So I had also the Bergman uh, 400 and it had a little bit more storage underneath the saddle, but it is way more than the C40 uh, BMW now made, uh, you know, the electric thing. I made a video about the C40, it's an ugly thing. But so you have these two cabinets in the front, you have a, a room underneath the saddle and of course you got this pannier in the, in the back. Wow, it's actually a lot. Just one more note about the comfort. This is not only made for commuting, I could ride this thing to the south of Spain without any problem. So it is actually a bike. Well, I think most people will use it for, for uh, commuting. This is the most comfortable ride you can have on a motorcycle when you're doing a long, long road. Uh, when you have like mountains, very curvy, it's all perfect. So, but for storage, I think you have more than enough. And uh, I gave it an eight. Eight for storage. Point number nine, reliability. Man, that's a hard word for me from Holland. Point number nine, reliability. Well, that's hard to say. I have to, I own this uh, bike now for a year and I didn't have any problems with it. Uh, but I can only judge by forums and that kind of stuff. And there doesn't seem to be a lot wrong with this bike. So I have to say the reliability, let's give it a seven. I don't know, it's BMW. It's always a bit sketchy, right? <laughs> and point number 10, the last point is riding in the rain. I rode this scooter mostly in the winter time. And so, yeah, there, uh, it's always bad weather then and it's always raining. And I even try to uh, let the ABS kick in on the white stripes and etc. by heart breaking. And it, it just didn't, or, or maybe it did, and I don't know but it was handling fine and in the rain kind of in this bubble you see now i'm i'm riding very slow very slow and there's not much effort to keep the bike straight up yeah it's a bit silly to talk about riding in the rain while well, it's really a hot summer day today but okay riding in the rain uh, was good i had one time i had an enormous enormous rainfall like really enormous like you couldn't see the roads it was just splashing around the water but i felt safe on the bike uh, of course i didn't stay dry because there was really too much rain but when it's a little rain yeah, you actually pray stay uh, pretty dry Woo. so yeah for the rain protection and what counts also for the wind protection i guess yeah, very good. So let's give that a number also. Riding in the rain with this, with this thing. I would say, uh, give it a nine. If 
you want to have a 10, you must ride a car then. But for a motorcycle, this is okay. A 9, this will do it. So let's talk about the pros and cons here and if I would suggest it. Well, let's start with the pros because that's the easy part. Well, the, the, the pros, definitely the handling, the low fuel consumption, uh, the looks. I think it looks kind of neat for a scooter. The electronics, it's got a tire pressure monitor and that kind of, all that kind of stuff, the sport computer. It's very, very comfortable and it's a pretty quick engine. So yeah, I will think that uh, that are the pros. Let's talk about the cons because nothing is perfect. Even this mighty BMW C650 GT is not perfect. Well, there are just very minor things I have to say. Let's start with the mirrors. The mirrors are a bit flimsy. They shake around when you ride and come on BMW, you can do that better. Another con is the price. This is actually more of the expensive ones, of course. It is a BMW and it has a BMW price. I don't know what they cost actually, but uh, second hand, this one is from 2013. You pay around 6,000 for it and new, I guess they're like 13,000 euros, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, they're on the high spectrum of prices. Another thing, which is a con also, is the fuel cap. It's a bit flimsy also. And again, BMW, you can do much better than that. But those are really some minor cons. It's not that it's broken off, or it's not that the, uh, the mirrors are useless, they're not. It just, it could do a bit better. Let's wrap it up here. Is this the ultimate commuting bike? I think so, I think so. I think this is actually one of the best choices you have. If it will break down, I will buy it again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like, and I catch you all next time. Drive safe.